Never reboot, never surrender. That's right. Uh, a great man once said that. Tim Allen, I believe. Great man. Uh, so, we need to kill the thing from the stars at least once in this playthrough. So, uh, it would be better to kill it in an apprentice where it's slightly easier to do so. So, I think... Mark Twain? Oh, I'm sorry. Unsight, welcome in. How you doing, Unsight? I think I'll go ahead and go here. Uh, the other bonus is it is a long dungeon. So, we can push 40% on the meter as long as we complete it. Downside is we might fight nightmares... And thing from the stars. And we don't have a jester. I lied to you. We have a jester. All right, we're good. Do you know one streamer that has generators so that if there's a power failure, keep stream PC on for at least an hour? That's pretty interesting. <laughs> How you doing, Riggs? Do, 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 do. Um, we need snap target, obviously. So now the question is, do I take Garth Fields? Or do I take, P I take Peter? Peter we need to uh, level up to do the Veteran Prophet with. Uh, so this is good for everyone. This is a pretty decent team in general too. Like it's, uh, it's good for her nightmare overall. Um, man, Thing from the Stars is just a scary thing. So the Thing from the Stars is a uh, roaming boss. You can see his portrait right here. Uh, it's part of the Color Madness DLC. Hey, Kamikaze, welcome in. Um, so what it is, is basically once you start, once you open up the farmstead, once you do the first farmstead mission, this roaming boss starts uh, appearing in these four dungeons. The good news is you see his portrait over the section that he is possibly in that week. So you can avoid it pretty easily if you want. However, how it works is once he is uh, over a, an area like this, when you enter the dungeon... You ha it has a 50... It's getting windy and rainy out. It has a 50% chance to spawn him as a hall battle. So unlike the Shambler, um, the spawn of the thing from the stars is determined when you enter the dungeon. So uh, Shambler is rolled when you enter a battle at zero light. But the thing from the stars, the game knows if it's going to be there as soon as you enter the dungeon. Uh, so basically, long story short, it is a... Man, it's raining hard all of a sudden. Um... It can be a semi-difficult mini-boss. Actually, it's harder than a lot of the normal bosses now that I think about it. And, God, I don't want to close my window. Um, and it has a 50% chance to spawn in this dungeon. Can you hear the rain? Yeah, it's like friggin' pouring all of a sudden. And that's the window's like, uh, I don't know, probably a good 8 feet away. Man, alright. Let's get ready and go. Let's get ready and go. It's getting even harder. The rain, rain, rain came down, down, down. I know that song. It's by the award-winning winning artist, Winnie the Pooh. How do you mean today? You're outside? Sort of fall like bullets? Yeah. Uh, Crap, man. Back. It's running down the window Step seal. Loyalty is greatly appreciated. Sig Watch! Sig, thank you for the Reese. Resub four months in a row. That's a third of a year. Sig, thank you, thank you for the resub. Love and sandwiches to Sig Watch. Thank you, Watch. Appreciate it as always. Thank you for supporting me and the stream and my family and everyone. Maximum level reached. <laughs> Wheezy, 15 months. Wheezy, thank you for the resub. And uh, holy crap. The boy is back once again. Hey, boy. What you doing, boy? What you been up to, Weezy? How's life? How are you and the, uh, the girlfriend doing? Weezy. Uh, Weezy's been here forever, obviously, by the 15-month resub. But also, Trivia. The Anniversary of Everything channel Trivia. Wiz Weezy. I almost called you Wizzy. <laughs> Weezy was our first ever golden sub. The OG, the original golden sub club member. Wizzy Wheezy. New car? Things are looking good. That's awesome, man. So hard. Broke a tree branch? Yeah, man. It's, it's Rose, it's really windy and rainy here all of a sudden. Good old Wizzy. Thank you, Wheezy. Hey, and Grumpy Monkey. Welcome back. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, I need to make sure I get uh, diseases removed. We're not going to do champion dungeons for a 
while still, so we'll, we'll get rid of these ones first. Probably Wasting Sickness and the runs. Yeah, definitely. Doc has the runs. Um, hey, Modwife, are you listening? <laughs> are you listening there, Modwife? Mod Modwife of mine? Do I need to call you? Make them get the curse. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's low infestation, so we'll probably run into ten. Do you mind bringing a, a towel for the window in here? Like, I mean, you don't have to, obviously. Uh, I can go get one, but... It's like, it's coming in low. So, she'll bring a towel in here. She'll beat me with a noodle for a little while. The wet datum. We're going to have a wet datum contest. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything to get rid of. The shower. Just use your pants. I'm not wearing any pants. Uh, what now? Slow reflexes kind of sucks. It's not a huge deal, though. I could get rid of slow reflexes lock and hard skinned. That's, that's a possibility. Oh, my Bowser shirt? Yeah. It's one of my favorite shirts. Uh, let's pause the stream and stop doing what we're doing to show me. Show me. Show you guys my shirt. Isn't that awesome? I like the shirt. It's my favorite. Look at that Bowser. It's a punk Bowser. King Bowser and the Koopa Troopas. <laughs> it's like a, um, it's like an 80s uh, punk band Bowser shirt. Finest nice lady, love you. Thank you for the towel. Yeah. How's your Mario Party been going, Rose? Yeah, I really love this shirt. I really like how Bowser, I mean, I like Bowser in general. Capture test today. I can still. Lydia would have a Bowser. Yay. Hey, Randall! Strike Commander, thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Randall, how you doing? Welcome in, thank you for the donation, Randall, as usual it seems. Appreciate you. Bowser's now running into Nova America. <laughs> Let's get rid of Fading, I hate Fading. Fading is uh, one of my least favorite negative quirks. Least favorite, one of the ones I hate the most. Alright, we just spent a lot of money. Bot's been set to know the answer now. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Let's get in here. Alright. So we're going to do uh, double healing trinkets on our Vestal. Gotcha. We're going to do... Uh, Overture and Mooncloak. This is going to help our Jester survive both through dodge and protection and health. Her party too. Have to play it more if you want to try to run it one day. So are you trying to speed run it, or what? What exactly? I'm guessing by try to run it someday, you're meaning speed run, or? Hey Cam, welcome in. Thank you for the alert, Cam. Um, speed run it. What's your primary speed run games, Rose? I don't know if I ever asked you that. Um, so there, there's a little bit of a concern here. Um. Our, the, the weak side of the Shield Breaker is that she is pretty fragile. She's very low health. However, um, we can overcome that with Trinkets. And her crit buff does give her protection, which helps out a lot. Frag, you're still alive. How do you doing, Frag? Um, tried to... So, I mean, she's the weak point here. As far as most likely to die to, like, frontline groupers and stuff. But I still think I want to give her crit because her crit... Along with Precise Striker, she should have a lot of crit. Um, which means she should have the protection from her crit buff pretty often. I think that's okay. And we do have the ability to guard her. So I think that'll be alright overall. Um, and I'm actually going to take damage and accuracy on our Man at Arms too, I think. This should be alright. This is, this is an okay team. Um, we are hoping, actually, that we run into the thing from the stars. If we don't run into the thing from the stars, we're not going to have an apprentice team for it anymore. Which means we're going to have to either fight it in veteran or champion, or I'm going to have to make another apprentice team that's good for it. Which I don't really want to do. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this long coat. First run of the night. You know what's good about this rain and wind? It's cooling this room off. This furnace of a room that I have. It's Elton thing for the lurk. 
all the food, stack of shovels. We have, we might fight, we might fight a shambler, the thing from the stars, and her nightmare. So, we're not here for loot. Loot is a secondary. I'm going to take all of this. Um, man. Start one. You should get good at the mini games. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Scales and tentacles. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Uh, I might take the scale, speaking of. But it, it, the sucky thing is we can't... We don't know the Thing of the Stars is going to be here. But the a Aegis could absolutely save us from the Thing of the Stars if it gets a crazy crit, which we've had happen. I'm not going to take it. All right, food, shovels. We got a little bit of curio interaction. Uh, we got a lot of stuff for nightmares and whatnot. We're going to camp early to try to bait out one of her nightmares. Bait out. It's 50%. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, camp. Okay, we're good. Let's do it. Hey, Satis, welcome in again. How you, how you doing, Satis? Good to see you. New keyboard just got here. Which one did you end up getting? Count me out. Oh, this tea's terrible. That's only because I brush my teeth before the stream. RGB Platinum. So you can just to type it on it. Gotcha. Putting Cam to sleep. The lullaby. Oh, what a crappy dungeon. Um. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we go down first. So many likes. Just beat your first boss. Took three tries to get to him. So much stress. Which boss, Satist? Congrats, though. Which boss? Not going to loot uh, very much yet. We don't have the inventory space. Don't have the inventory space. Double Thrall right off the bat, plus a bad shuffle, uh, is pretty scary, honestly. So, the, th Decimated. the Thrall, if they don't die quickly enough, will explode for huge stress and damage. The Stinger can cause disease, uh, although it might be that the Stinger doesn't cause disease until Veteran. I cannot remember. Princess Necromancer, Bounty Hunter, Mini Crits. Every now and again, you unfollow everyone you follow on Twitch, then delete the app in an effort to quit. Spending so much money on the. Oh, no worries, GT. I was just joking. Yeah, I was just joking. Hopefully, it came off that way. But no worries, GT. I can understand that. GT, just so you know, of course, I mean, sub to like 10 channels. GT, your, your subscription helps here, obviously. I always appreciate it, but GT, if you if you want to be, you know, a, a member of the community here or just lurk and watch and not give me a single bit, not subscribe, no no worries, no hard feelings ever. Like even 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 though you have over six months, um, I mean, obviously I appreciate them, you know. And if you want to do it, I'm not going to dissuade you from it. However, just know that if you ever stop doing it. See why ever. If you ever stop doing it, I, there will be no hard feelings. Like I'm just, I'm just joking about it. Uh, honestly, like e even just watching the channel helps. Um, watching and lurking helps in incredibly. So, um, yeah, no worries, GT. No worries at all. But I can understand what you mean. Um, I really want to stress heal her, but I also really need to kill the thrall. I think we'll be able to kill the Thrall. I don't know. It's I, I'm, I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going to do some damage because our Man at Arms is in a position where he can't actually get up and deal damage. So I have to rely on both of those to kill. Let's put some damage in. This is your favorite channel, GT? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, GT. But even so, seriously, if you ever need to stop financially supporting the stream, no hard feelings at all. 
Faint hope like I said, every, everything here is uh, is time based, right? Um, for a reason. Like, obviously, I want to make a living from the stream, but um, there's no hard feeling if someone can't or doesn't want to support that way. It's all good. Play Narsen on Switch. It's an awesome game for a portable system. Yeah, Frag. Uh, I haven't played it yet, but we have a lot of people in the community uh, that say that it's a really great port. Oh, another thing. Those of you that are play on the Switch and PlayStation, um, someone had told me that the reorder party button is not in console. Apparently it is. It's not a menu button. It's a controller shortcut. Um, Rusty Shackleford, who is a, a regular here, and Pridom or watches a lot of the VODs, catches up on the VODs, uh, whispered me and said, oh, by the way, on the VOD, I heard you say that you didn't think um, you could re reorder your party instantly on uh, console, but I had the Switch and the PlayStation 4, and this is how you do it on those. So if anyone, um, you know, didn't know that existed, it does. This channel is for sure in your top 500. <laughs> I know pineapple, it's good to hear. Why are snakes so good at first grade math? Because they're adders by nature. <laughs> welcome in, Himmel. How you doing, Himmel? Sin, welcome in. How you doing, Sin? Fiddles. Good to see you, Fiddles. Learn from another streamer that you can't just lurk at a channel with the volume muted. It doesn't count as a view for you. It depends. If the video is playing, it counts as a view still. Um, you can mute the tab. You can you can put the volume down a bit. You can mute the tab. But what happens is on most modern browsers is that when you uh, when you don't have a video as the active tab and it doesn't have sound to save bandwidth, the browsers like Chrome and Firefox they make the video stop playing and then it doesn't count as a view. So if you either as long as the video is playing and it can continue playing as long as like you mute the tab. Um, but not the stream itself, so it's a it's a tricky kind of workaround type thing. But yeah, that is tr that is mostly true. Let's get rid of this guard. How do you reorder on console? It was a button that you hold down, and it's different per console. Um, I can check my whispers frag and, and let you guys know, but there is a uh, a certain button that you can hold down outside of combat, and it auto reorders your party to what they were when you first came in. You push the stick down, you think, Rose? For uh, for switch, or uh, let's try to stun this one. Hey, tribe, welcome in. How you doing, tribe? She'll break her best wife. How you doing, Fat Phantasm? Welcome in. Hold X. Thank you, uh, Quamek. Appreciate it. How you doing, Quamek? So hold down X outside of combat, and it'll reorder your party. And then on the uh, switch. Uh, Satis, you think, or not Satis, excuse me, <laughs> uh, Rose, you think you hold down the stick. Uh, I want to kill these a little bit slowly so we can Annihilated. heal her stress. Hold down A on the switch. Thank you, or Orchestra. So hold down A on the switch, hold down X on, um, on PS4. How are you doing, Orchestra? Welcome in. Orange Shadow. Hey, Fatty Can't Fly. Welcome in. How you doing, Fatty? <laughs> Thank you for the kind words, guys. Long Veteran Wield Run Nightmare. Thing from the stars in Shambler. Instead of losing anyone. Sid. That's what I'm wondering if it's going to happen here. Didn't know until you said it now. Yeah, I'm glad we're all figuring it out. Because I've never played on the console. But uh, I can't remember who it was. They were like, oh, I, that doesn't exist on console. It does, just in a different form, apparently. So I'm going to kill this slowly. We're going to hit it with um, Puncture. Just want to shamble the wheel today, too. It went very well. Drop the candle. Candle's pretty good. I mean, if you're playing with normal light. Veteran. So as long as we hit this guy twice per round, he's not going to call in reinforcements. Um, so we're going to do that to get her stress down. Now, we're in an Apprentice dungeon. The Pelagic Guardian has one of the lower crits in Apprentice out of the cove mobs, it seems. Like, obviously he can crit. We've been crit by him in this run. But he's one of the safest mobs in here to recover on. So we're just hitting him very, very lightly. At least two times per round. 
that makes it so he doesn't call in reinforcements and we can just recover. And as, and as many times as we can stun him, obviously we'll do that. That's one reason I love bringing the Man-at-Arms. Man-at-Arms is so good at stalling on the last mob or two. He has a great stun that doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, just a really good character to stall on. Drops our idle, bottle, candle, scroll. You're getting the map last. That kind of sucks. Map is my favorite. Uh, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, she was at like, what, 80 stress? Now she's down to 21 because of this recovery fight. This is another reason I love the cove. Yeah, you can run into quad group trooper and they can gang up on you and really screw you over. But uh, then you have fights like this. Gunner. Gunner, thank you for the host. Those of you coming in from Gunner Stream, welcome or welcome back. Had any questions about Darkest Dungeon, let me know or feel free to sit back, lurk, relax. It's a map for the champion phase. To be honest, it's hard to believe we have ran into a Shambler. Um, this might be the longest I've ever gone without a Shambler. I think by this point in run 8, we killed two Shamblers. I think in run 3, we, or run 4, I mean, we probably killed two or three by now. It's kind of weird. I mean, it's just luck of the draw, but... Destroy them all. Okay, so I'm going to camp. Uh, one, to free up some inventory space. Two, to get buffs. And three, we're hoping for her Nightmare. So we can get it out of the way while we're in good shape. Now, we're going to know if she has the Nightmare or not. It's a 50% chance when we camp. So we camp. We eat food. And if she emotes... She didn't emote. No Nightmare. Sucks. Good box fans. Hot. Oh yeah, I, I have one. I just set it up before the stream in the window. And man, it's helping so much. How you doing, Gunner? Kaz, welcome in. How you doing, Kaz? You're up. What you mean, Kaz? Oh, yeah, you're here. <laughs> Kaz, I want you to have a nightmare. What's about? Oh, Kaz, the other night when you told us that you were afraid of spiders, right after that we played a bounty game where there was a giant spider. The very first, like, monster you run into at the end of the game was a giant spider. Anyway, let's get our buffs going. <laughs> Dodging crit on everyone. Damaging crit. Crit, crit. You are happy to get a night without nightmares. <laughs> oh. Hey, Oogie Boogie, welcome in. How you doing, Oogie? So happy you missed that. <laughs> Sorry, it was a 10-year-old game. The graphics weren't spectacular. Helps out a lot, Gunner, putting one in the window. Even when it's warm out. Probably know that, though. So we want to run into the thing from the stars. Like, we are... There's a 50% chance that it is here. Now, that's determined when we enter the dungeon, so we can't, like, r keep respawning hall battles to try to force one. But uh, we really want one. Hey, Dulce, how's it going? Every time you have a shield breaker in your group, you have a nightmare. And, I mean, every time. Group and zing nothing. I want the nightmares, though. Uh, I think it's crappy that they made it a 50% chance, Tolski. I would rather, um, I'd rather know the nightmare is coming and be able to get it out of the way when I want to than it be a, a chance. Like, we have actually gone all the way to a nearly champion dungeons without a nightmare before, and it's, it's not good. It's not good. Pretty good. Had a great day today. It's awesome, Oogie. Malik, welcome in. Hey, there's that Plagic Guardian crit. How you doing, Malak? Good to see you again. We're going to bellow to slow these guys down, hopefully. Got him. We're going to try to kill this one because it uh, doesn't have a stun. Oh, we're not going to be able to. I didn't want to take the risk on her. Um... I mean, there's a chance we crit here, huh? Press this <laughs> Give them no quarter. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. <laughs> uh, yay wars going on today? No, no yay wars. Randall did do a yay earlier. Thank you, Randall. It can read the future. Oh man, the other night. Well, when was that? Last Saturday. Saturday. Uh, we had 80 stress, and I was like, we're going to get crit here. 
It's going to take us to 100 stress. We're going to get a virtue, and it's going to be courageous. You'll see. And then we got crit. We got 100 stress. We got a virtue, and it was courageous. And then I retired from the game as a uh, champion forever. Hey, uh, Gabe, welcome back. How you doing, Gabe? Pitch Black, Absence of Light today. It's going pretty well so far. Couldn't believe that one, Kaz. That's the best thing I've predicted in this game so far. There's a clip? Is there a clip? I assume there is, but who knows? Who knows? Fortune teller, Adam. <laughs> It was a it was a good call. I think it was a crit. Either way, it was a hundred stress, virtue, and a courageous. After I said it would be. Run twenty. We're on week forty one. So as we saw earlier in this, the Plagi Guardian can absolutely crit, right? But it's a lower chance, and we can kill him slowly. So again, I'm just gonna leave him up for a little while. Uh, we're gonna hope we recover. We we hope we heal more stress than what he ends up causing through crits. And uh, with, with a Jester, we have a pretty good chance of doing that. So we're going to hit him with these weak attacks. Impressive. I mean, the crits are good, obviously. They also stress heal, but I don't want to kill him too fast. It's good. Crit on the wrong person, though. Uh, if you get a healing crit, it also does a little bit of stress healing, but it hits someone that had no stress. I'm getting used to this upper monitor thing. I'm liking this, actually. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Now I can see the whole screen. I don't have a chat overlay. Feels good. It's like I'm looking straight at you guys, too. Uh, I'll keep healing that stress. Should be able to stun him this time. Creepy. And you can see more of my shirts. <laughs> Which is very important. I have, I have awesome t-shirts. I need to show them off. I do like this shirt, though. And the cat shirt. Be back, have to run and start. Alrighty, Rose. Be safe. See you soon, I hope. Um, my goal now, with this new setup, and uh, I mean, it was always my goal, but uh, even more so now, I'm going to try to make sure I never miss the first message of someone that comes in. No matter how busy the chat is, I'm going to try my best to never miss someone's very first message of the night. See how goes. Be about to get good Ked shirt. It's the awesomest. <laughs> I still have it right now. I still have it. Um, I'm debating whether I want to take it back or not. Hey, Kallus, how's it going? No shamblers yet, no. I wouldn't mind one in here as long as we're in good shape. This is a decent party for one. Hey, BK, how's it going? No, it's not sub-only. <laughs> We've never been in sub-only. Player turns are only 14 days. Really? A Gasm shirt? No. <laughs> Your chat said sub-only. That's weird. That's weird. I think it's 30 days here, Rix. But you can actually take anything back without a receipt as long as they still have, as long as they still have that thing, uh, in in the store. You want a Gasm shirts? <laughs> no shirts yet. Thought about it though. It, it would cost a lot to get. So uh, Lexi, who does our emotes. She also does um, merch stuff. However, um, of course, you have to pay her a fee to be able to use that as, as a, you know, to sell replications of it. And so it, it's uh, it's not like unreasonable, but you know, it's it's, it's expensive, um, just in general. You need a freaking mug. I mean, I can make, I could, I could do a mug with like quotes or anything like that on it but uh it wouldn't be able to have emotes unless i paid her some adam mug some only cause it prejudice against non-subs like the righteous man he is thank you cows gasm mug 
This moment, every time you log into the stream, you don't see the weapon levels at one. Mike. How you doing, Mike? Mike, who wants me to die? <laughs> BK. <laughs> hey, Chris Bob. How you doing, Chris? Welcome in. Babes. Tech returns of 90. Separate thing was 30 days. Need a receipt for anything at all. Modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Rob. Rob WV. Rob, thank you for the subscription. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for the support, Rob. you are using the Twitch Prime here. The Twitch Prime counts as a tier one. It financially supports me and the stream and my family. Love and sandwiches to Rob. <laughs> None of that's true. Well, I mean, the second part's not true, BK. At least. Alright, so again, we're just going to uh, stall this out a little bit to try to recover. I've like for a bit, lots of stuff going on. Checking in for you. Hey, R Square. Think about checking in. Hopefully, everything's good, R Square. Think of the lurk. Executed. Facts don't matter to you. A momentary abatement. I need to take a picture of my setup sometime. It's kind of weird. I have three different things up there now that I, I'm monitoring. Oh, the secret atom box is back. Those of you that remember the atom box, it's back. Atom box is back. Anyway, <laughs> some people are like, "What? Atom box? Switch to atom box." See so your setup. Should take a picture. Yeah, man. Uh, you can record a picture of it with you juggling beside of it. That'd be epic. Don't do that. So. How's your finger, by the way? Uh, what is the atom box? So... See my junk, junk box? No. <laughs> That's for uh, platinum subs only. It's uh... Private Snapchat material. Still hurt somewhat. Tyrell. <laughs> no, it's not. So, what the atom box is basically is back when I had an ultra wide monitor, which I do now, it's up there. But I used to have an ultra wide monitor as my primary monitor, and because ultra wides don't stream very well, and not many people watch ultra wide, what I do is I'd have the game in window mode in the middle, and then I'd have normal chat on the left side, or on the right side, and then on the left side, really small, I'd have this box where if anytime anyone typed atom, it would highlight it and move it to that box instead. That way I didn't miss people saying things to me. And so because it only highlighted the word Adam, or messages contained the word Adam, we called it the Adam box. Yeah, there we go. That's fortune. Adam versus will work. Adam and tight will work. Adam antium. So use this responsibly. I swear I think of the lurk. Adam Sausage. The Adam works. Adam if it doesn't matter. Adam Hintai. Why did I reveal this information? <laughs> Why did I re reveal this? Why are you guys playing with my Adam box so much? Good Critical Scout. This is a long dungeon, so there is a secret room somewhere. Um, hey everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some corn break? Hi, Cletus. Didn't I? Didn't I, BK? Look at all these. Look at all these things in the atom box. <sighs> Alright. On we go. Still not gonna loot yet. Thing from the stars, are you here? No, quad grouper. Remember when Rake's milked it? You mean Pookie? Cornbread for breakfast today? Is it good? <gasps> It's a Christmas miracle. No, Larkin. <laughs> Larkin, you filled up my atom box, Larkin. That's all there is now, is Larkin and a list of atoms. Legit harder than Thing with the Stars? I don't think so. Because the thing uh, the thing about these 
these aren't going to crit you for like 40 damage plus a blight, right? And these ones, the front two can only attack with the front two, back two can only attack with the back two, especially an apprentice where they can't pull. So as long as you divide their damage up, it's not it's not that bad, really. Um, I don't think so, anyway. Uh, play that purple game yet? Um, I'm already ranked number two on the on speedrun.com for a uh, purple hentai. I'll have you know. No, I have not played it. <laughs> oh, good crit. Focused on being abusive. That's right. Filling up my atom box. We're in a buff. Very nice for you to have a long flowing brunette wig. The magic gate ball out. Be Madam Adam. Madam, I'm Adam. Too hot to hoot. A decisive bubbling. Probably, I don't know, but I, will. I still have the chicken suit. I didn't take that back. I doubt they would have accepted the chicken suit after Halloween and full of Adam sweat. Could be wrong. Maybe that was worth a lot of money. I'm gonna buff again. What an original name. Like, tons of those hentai games have just random... Random names that don't even make sense, and then uh, it'll have like uh, in, in the description, it'll be like it was Google translated three times. Gone to the highest bidder. <laughs> the ground quakes. I don't know, Kaz. I've already said. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm, I'm testing out MeUndies to see if I. Because I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let anything have a sponsorship or an affiliate link unless I have tried it and agree with it and think it's actually worth. And so I told that to the MeUndies people. And so I've been trying those out now. And I I mentioned that on stream the other night. They're like, how much how much are you gonna sell those for? Who was it? Jeep it was like five bucks. <laughs> I I mean I think it was a joke, but. And they're, it, they're good. They're good. Um, like I said, they're I'm. They've been washed, so I haven't worn them again since. That's one thing I want to do. We should have taken it. So. T-shirts. Get a pair for free. <laughs> no. Expensive, man. Why is our cooldown on kicking? Yeah. What was that? What was up with that? I still can't take this stuff. Oh, I'm gonna take it over the crest, though. Who washes underwear? What do you do? Just wear it until they disintegrate? <laughs> just, just leave them on forever. Shower in them. Uh, they get cleaned in the shower. Quote about Jack. Oh God, yeah, I forgot about that quote. Thanks, Sin. Wear and sell it. Thing from the stars, please. I really want to get Thing from the Stars out of the way, an apprentice. Uh, these two can cause disease, but again, I'm not 100% if they do on apprentice. Uh, I'm waiting to see. I know they can on veteran. It's good. We, we're not going to get any stress from this unless this guy crits. He's not critting nobody. Uh, import them from Japan. We generally call them Japanties. You guys want... Don't have any Japanties? I don't know. I don't remember saying that. Miss some humdingers on Sekiro? I guess so. Like to see a champion thing from the stars? Uh, no, no, Larkin. Close with list win. I know. I'm sorry. I, I have no excuse anymore either. I was actually thinking about that earlier when I, you were in the chat. Um, we'll see. It's just something pointless to put in the atom box. Where the great power become comes. Great troll ability? I don't know. BK. BK. It's actually getting cool in here. 
This is alright. Who knew that fans can make you cooler? <laughs> did you guys have you guys heard about that? Have you guys heard about fans? Comes great mistakes involving Twitch chat. That is the truth. Views comes much troll tolerance. A miracle. Without remembering that they are now going to be used against him forever. That's why I said, like, uh, the theory is, the reason I haven't put them all on the website is that they'll be out in the public domain, so to say. And so if I ever need to apply for anything, like, maybe Twitch just goes away. I doubt it. I have to go reapply apply for a new job. And they search me out online. <laughs> and all these quotes come up about child labor and hentai and killing dogs and stuff. They'll be like, whoa. Not taking this guy. Unless the job is like... I don't know. That'd be a very weird, weird job for those to be positive credentials. Um, she pierces armor, so it's really easy to kill this... Um, maggots. Maggots. Sweatshop supervisor. <laughs> Stop talking there before there are more quotes. There's no filter on my mouth anymore. I mean, I don't know. I, I have actually caught myself a couple times. Honestly. Job we're going to be applying for? Hopefully none. Job is provisioning adventurer to kill fish people. I'm a shoe in. Shoe in. Sweatshop supervisor. Shoe in there too. Just to be a nun. <laughs> yeah, I'll write a salacious diary. Applying for a low grade strip club as a bartender or bouncer. <laughs> um. Th thanks. <laughs> Quotes won't hurt me. Uh, I'll seal this guy. Can teach me how to flare. Do well as a slave trader, to be honest. Right for the Tarantino movie. Let's do duos. I know how to juggle. So I'm already I'm already a little way there. I mean, I can juggle, you know, like hacky sacks or... Uh, hang on. Hold up. You think, you think this is a joke? You think I'm just like... You think I... I'm just like, tr for internet points, I'm trying to say, hey, I have juggling balls and I know how to juggle them. Here are my balls and I know how to handle them. Has the quit ready? Playing the... <laughs> I haven't have... Didn't even juggle? What am I going to do? You know that uh, that meme image of the guy that's like, Dropping things like how do I hold all these? That's what it'd be like on here. <sighs> Infomercial. Hey, it's Morden Combat. Uh, let's see if we can get one heal in before we kill this guy. To cut before. Whoa, whoa, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we can kill him. You know what? We might can even get a uh, stress heal in. Let's just stall this. I got all kinds of strange things in this drawer. You guys want to see more? You guys want to see more? <laughs> What's in Adam's drawers? No. <laughs> no. Anyway. All right, Dark's Dungeon. Uh, we have a long dungeon ahead of us. But a victory I'm gonna drop stack gold for emeralds. I thought, gonna go get some more stuff to spit. I thought maybe I could get him from behind. Was that a burp? One finger or two? What's in Adam's drawers? Uh 
you like to know more? Uh, Alright. Thing from the stars, we need you. I mean, it might not be here. Obviously. We have six more halls that it could possibly be in. Uh, we're gonna kill this first because it can give disease. She also pierces armor, so it's very easy. Electric powered adult recreational stimulus apparatus. Just gonna go for the kill here. Hey, Beer Barry, and welcome in. How you doing, Beer? Talking about his drawers. Great timing. I'm. What's so weird about having balls in my drawers? Huh? Also got a yo-yo. Look at this. Look at this yo-yo. It's Duncan. Got some playing cards for some magic. There's <laughs> all kinds of random crap in there. Hold up, three. Part, part Krogan. Part Krogan. I actually don't... Wait, uh, count me out. Juggler extraordinaire. Can you do more than three? Items? I have not been able I, I've not been able to do that. You can't, Miss Fortune. Um the the thing with the stars is a little bit different. It determines whether he spawns when you enter the dungeon, not when you enter a battle, unfortunately. Haven't really tried. It seems a lot harder to me. Like I I mean, I guess you just have to throw higher. I don't know. Binding life 15 years? No, not that kind of magic cards. <laughs> Three bottles pretty well. Some downside. How's the run going so far? I, I'm doing okay. The run's the run's going really well. We're looking for the thing from the stars. So we're we're only in a uh, an apprentice dungeon. Let's screen when he's in a dungeon. Yes. Yes, Rose. As yep, yep. Mount, so too will resistance. Loot those after this battle. So I mentioned that was meant for the atom box. So. I don't know, I might should have hit her first. Two days of no antibacterial treatment. Painful swabbing. Any other new news, Despair? Welcome back, Despair. This is the run, I hope so. Never know, let's buff our speed, accuracy, and crit. Also count as a boss in this run. He's not in the uh, boss list for the caretaker's goals, so I mean, I guess not technically. Uh, I feel like I should fight him though. Um, Cause it would kind of suck to, to beat every single boss and mini boss for the, this world first challenge, but then have that like, oh, but you didn't do the fanatic. You know? Do you have balls in your drawers? Tell me you have things to juggle in your drawers? We gotta be careful about this drawer talk. It says it looks eaten. Is it healing as fast as it should? Man, despair. That is so weird to think about, too, like... You do? I'm not gonna ask any more questions, but here's here's one of mine. Let me beat what's in front of you. Um... She's stunned, we're fat- I'm, I'm just gonna stress you. Be fine. Okay, for a second, so the run will have a fanatic kill. I don't know, I'm thinking I should try to. Um, it's a little bit odd, right? Because I don't, I don't like, super intentionally dodge the fanatic. It's that I do the Crimson Court so fast after I open it. That we usually don't really get a great opportunity at one. But it feels like I should probably kill it. Creamsicle? I haven't had a Creamsicle in a long time. Good. They are good. Brain AFK. <laughs> Orange cream is cool shot. 
down to today's treatment before hollow home so glad you could chill here yeah I'm glad I'm glad you are here despair I'm sorry all this stuff's happened to you I can't like I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it so any kind of distraction I think would be great orange and red ones are the best I don't know if I've had orange red it's clear as light cream sickles yeah thought that's what you meant despair hey Ash Gore, welcome in how you doing Ash Cormac Cream School. Here's the weeks after D4. I, I don't know. No, I can't because once we kill the Countess, he'll be gone. He doesn't come back. Got to see you're still alive. Yeah, for now. For now. Don't end up in the hospital. Too poor for that. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I never really asked. I don't, I don't know what the health care stuff is like in your country actually I've never even thought about it knock until you tried it hey Matt welcome in uh hello neighbors are off on Steam at the moment oh, I can own the single creepiest game of all time at a steep discount oh speaking of um for those of you that didn't see Humble has an, a huge spring sale right now Thank you, Phoenix. If you use that link that Phoenix posted, I guess it's over there somewhere. Um, Humble is having a really big sell, and uh, I am partnered with Humble. So if you use that link and you buy anything in the next 24 hours, 5% um, of what you purchase will come back and support the stream. Uh, they don't just have bundles. They have a storefront. That's tons of stuff on sale at the moment. And um, it predominantly gives you Steam keys. There's a, there's a few that will give you, like, Uplay stuff. Um, but most of the things that they sell are steam keys so you can always check that out if you would and uh see if you would like to buy anything from it and it, the developers get more when you buy it from humble humble takes a very small percent compared to steam and you support charity and the stream so check that out countess is killed fanatic yeah not without a mod not without a mod uh, let's try for her nightmare again. I'm actually just gonna feast. Please, emote. Please. Yes! Nightmare. Grim Dawn, Borderlands, Paradox Games, yeah. Uh, now's the time. If you've been waiting to play a Paradox game or update your Paradox game, this is what you wait for. You wait for one of these cells where there are 5,000 DLCs. We're on sale. Age one or three. Wait for free. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we're gonna do dodge and crit. Damage and crit. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna give her more crit. Fanatic mod, people who really, really, really hate themselves. Uh, the vampire game. I still need to play that. I was gifted that. I want to play it. Sure, he is gone if you kill the Countess, even if you intentionally get lost people cursed. I've never seen him after the Countess. This is nightmare number two. Uh, so if anyone that has not seen the nightmares, our Shieldbreaker will take 20 stress per round here. Um, it is... We're going to use Holy Water. It is offset by, like, uh, any minus stress received debuffs, or uh, buffs, rather. So we are going to start doing that um, Nightmare and a Nighttime Ambush after. No, it's not. You can't have both at once. Or, you know, back to back like that. If you meet on the same camp, no. Okay, Holy Water. Antivenom. We're going to attack into the Repost. It should be okay. The Repost isn't super strong. Yeah, I don't think I will either, Mixie. Weird if you didn't have... How are you doing, by the way, Mixing? Didn't ask you earlier. Um, I'm going to try to stun this one. Big anyway, University is 75% off. That's what you meant. Yeah. Heal up okay. Need positive healing stories. So, it seems mostly better. It's just residual stuff now. It doesn't seem like I'm going to have permanent nerve damage, which is the big uh, victory there, you know? Um, however... The area that was the worst, the one right above the back of my knee, there's a spot maybe like this big, like an oddly shaped spot, 
that's very, very dark purple, but there's nothing raised above the skin, so it's deep in there. Not like a bruise, it's not like sort of touch, it's just discolored. But what's really odd about it now is that uh, it it's like, it's honeycomb. It's like a honeycomb pattern because of all those blood, uh, this is gross, but because of all the blood blisters that that were there during it that have gone away, it's like a honeycomb outlined purple scar almost but uh luckily all the pain is gone now haven't had any uh pain from it in quite a while show the stream i don't know pretty it's not so much big as it is deep leaving it with one health really sucks i'm a monster they took pictures of me for a cryptid newsletter no Uh, these things. Well, I mean, I know what causes mine, at least. I don't know, I don't know what happened to you, but I know exactly what caused mine. So mine, um, basically, uh, I had chicken pox as a kid, right? So shingles is a reemergence of the chicken pox virus in different form. Uh, basically, if you've had chicken pox, after you are good, it retreats down into your, like, your nerve stems. And, uh, it can resurface later on. So that's what happened to me, uh, and it usually resurfaces. I mean, it can be very random. You can get it even when you can have shingles virus, even when you're like, you know, ten or twelve. But it most commonly happens in people that are really stressed. And doctor told me it's pro it was probably reemerged earlier than it should have because of stress and uh, lack of sleep. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean I need more of any of those. Trust me. Let's keep healing this. Badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. Snake. That's older than YouTube. But so am I. I had no skin breaks. It's weird. Welcome back, Rose. Yeah, and the bad thing about it, too, is I asked the doctor, too, to spare, and I was like, so now that I've had this, is it pretty much, am I good? Like, it's probably not going to come back again? She's like, no, unfortunately, since you had it so young, you'll probably get this again at some point in your life. Maybe multiple times. It's like, oh, great. Man, that hurt. Your system is overcompromised. Yeah, that's you. Which, I mean, is a... Uh, can also be an effect of stress and lack of lack of sleep. Oh yeah, I don't mind despair. It was very painful. Uh, the vaccine for shingles is still effective. However, um, insurance won't pay for a vaccine for it unless you're over 50. Uh, and if you're not over 50, it's it's pretty expensive. So, yay! Let's go ahead and kill this one. Could this nightmare be going any better? No, I don't think so, actually. It's probably the easiest nightmare we've had. Not over 50, no. It's likely to reoccur, yeah. So it's bad. Uh, so the doctor, like I said, said it was the worst case that they had ever seen and they've been dealing with it for 25 years. However, um, we're going to recover on this, actually. However... It's, I was lucky that it wasn't in a, in a worse spot. Uh, so even though it was very, very bad on my leg, it could have very well been on my face. There are some people that get it inside of their mouths. Anyway, so as far as location, it could have been better, obviously. And it was a very bad um, outbreak of this. But it wasn't somewhere that I couldn't function at all. Some people get it in their eyes, like, could have been much, much worse. Face your money maker. Sound share to keep you relaxed. I just need more sleep, probably. Hey, shoots, how's it going? I'd like the remake with Potter, 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 Weasley, Weasley. I haven't seen that, I don't think. Which might be worth it. 
the, the least expensive one where I was at, or in this area, was almost 600 bucks. Yours is considered a bad location. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't a good location, but it's not like, you know, it wasn't my face or my eyes or something. I guess. Keep yelling about that. I can't sleep yet. My family needs me. <laughs> sleep on stream, you can't. Doing good shoots. Badger original is best. We can just kill it now. This is the best nightmare ever. It's not a snake. It's... Snape. No, 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 despair. It's not what I'm saying. Please, no. I mean, I appreciate it. I never want to seem like I'm fishing for anything. So, for anyone that doesn't know, the trinkets that drop from the Shieldbreaker Nightmare, you can just throw them down and they'll reappear in town in your stash. So there's no reason to carry them. If I go to five days, I probably could. It, it, I would make less for sure, though. You're welcome. Wait, you're welcome? Oh. Yeah, Kaz, because you're in the you're the shield breaker. Thanks, Kaz. Show off. Uh so we still could run to the thing from the stars, but we don't I don't think we need these three antivenom anymore. Thanks, Kaz. There if you like to help people. Get a scale. Don't remember if there are some or you don't get a scale. I think it's a high percentage to get a scale, but I have not gotten them before. Yeah, we didn't get one from that one, unfortunately. So I don't think it's a guarantee. I guess, obviously. Now it must be carried home. So there's still a chance we run into a shambler. Um... So I'm not going to throw down that stuff. Or not Shambler. Uh, well, Shambler too, but Theme of the Stars. There's the Potter one. You threw down scales for golds? I would not be doing that. There's a Hall Battle. 1% chance of a Shambler. This team would be good against Shambler. We also have our camp buffs. Good surprise there. How about Cole matters what you can Oops, helped get through it. Well, despair. Like I tell people, you know, I, I want to have the stream be what sports be my family, so I don't have to do the, the second job right now. However, you know, if, if you're spending time here, whether it's participating or lurking or whatnot, like, that helps out tremendously. So, uh, no one ever needs to feel guilty, like, you know, I, I've had people that have been in the channel for over a thousand hours be like you know oh man been here so many hours and have i i have never been able to subscribe i i know one very specific person that said something about that it, it's it's okay like uh there's never any hard feelings or anything so if you're if you're here or lurking that supports too you know so thank you despair lurking and crying about your hours i'm sorry hey ice man welcome in how you doing ice man Spend time trolling Adam, putting stuff in the Adam box. Hey, Hightala, how's it going? Welcome in, Hightala. I saw your, um, your avatar edit, Hightala. They can be beaten. You're full-time. Um, I stream full-time hours, yes. I stream about 45 hours a week, but I also work about 35 to 40 hours a week. Clue. And then I also have family and, you know, mortgage and stuff. Hey, Mexi, how's it going? Welcome in. Getting close, Mexi. Gotta get to 10. Going alright, just woke up. Okay, I'm gonna start finally using these. Hobble towards home, speed in the lurk. Already to spare. We actually do need to start taking blood now that we've opened up the court. Yeah, busy, busy. Sleep suffers. Doing okay, Mexi. Kaz, also 1500. Thank you, Kaz. Shoots feeding the pig. All right. And then Fluffkins, welcome on in. You were number nine, I know. It's, it's all right, Cass. It's all right. 
not mad at you very much. No, it's all good cats. It's going to be tough to get back in the top 10, though, if you want to do that. It's pretty competitive up there. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Um... I mean, I still got a plan in, in case you run into a shambler. I guess I can throw down the bandages. Straight 24 7. <laughs> happened to the queue? Nothing happened to the queue. It's still going. What do you mean? Let me double check it. You know, I message you, Mixie. You're at no number 98. Number 98. See why it's a bad thing for the stars. You post if you didn't. Um, that's it from the thing for the stars. No, I did not. Do 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 do. Uh, you're seriously thing for the stars. Always spawns. There are two hall battles in the same hall. It's not always how he spawns. There are two hall battles in the same hall. There's one of them. Share your experience. Uh, well, the thing the thing is the thing from the stars. Is determined when you enter the dungeon. It can definitely be a single hall battle. I've had that happen many times. Uh, it can also be a double for sure. Um, it's very rare to get a double hall battle that's not a special mob as the second battle. But the way that his spawn works is that it is determined when you enter the dungeon. Unlike with the um, the Shambler, which is when you enter the battle. So uh, if he's here, he's here. He's in a hall battle somewhere. We can't force him to spawn, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah. Generally, if you see two hall battles, the second one is going to be something else. Whether that's just Crimson Court mobs or, um, Thing with the Stars, Fnatic, something like that. Not always, though. Sorry, I missed it, Matt. I'm getting used to the monitor being up there. So I, I mentioned yesterday and today that I'm going to be missing something. So much worse. Well, the Shambler is, is spawned when you enter the battle, so that one's not... That one has just as much chance of being any of the hall battles, I suppose. Be gone, fiend. Both, maybe? So when you enter the dungeon, the thing is that you never had a double hall battle without him. You get a single hall battle. Oh, I, I've, I've had double hall battles without him. In fact, um... I don't know which one it was. It wasn't super long ago. Uh, I had a double hall battle, and I was like, I don't like... And I don't mean a backtrack battle, either. I was like, I don't like that. That usually means... And it ended up being um, a normal battle and a Crimson Court battle. So definitely not... Like I said, not always, but... We're going to go in every hallway, regardless. But I, I have seen that, too, like you're saying. A lot of times, when there was a second hall battle, it's something special. Whether it's a thing from the stars, a fanatic, or whatever. For sure. Either way, don't die. That's the real advice. Uh, we don't really need to stress heal, so we'll just kill the stress caster. Um, Stinger next, I guess. Good crit. Stun, so it's not going to be stunning or bleeding or diseasing us. It's easy, just always crits and always dodge. I know, I need to add that sound file. It's in the to-do. Pinnacle of Optimism. <laughs> Got him. It's a lot of time going after him because you wanted all his quirks. All three Remind states never once said have a double hall battle without him. Really? That's weird. It, yeah, it's just it's just luck or unluck of the draw, depending on which way you want to put it. But there there are things like that, Matt, that I thought were ch you know, there there were very specific things that I thought were a hundred percent true that I didn't even figure out I was wrong about until fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred hours into the game. Like I'm still learning some new stuff. So yeah, no worries. No worries there. Let's see, one, two, three. We get three more hunger procs, so we don't need the stack of food. Lost calling early this morning. 
tried to split into a second colony and had this big plan about setting up the most defensible base ever made. Left with some of your best people, left too much wealth behind. First raid wiped your base, tried to come back with a convoy. Wiped the first raid after they got back. <laughs> Sorry, crow work. How far in were you? Got chicken salad, chicken strips, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, Monterey Jack, green peppers, ranch, quarter teaspoon of straw strawberry jam. Rikes, come on, man. <laughs> Sounded good up until the jam. I like strawberry jam, but not on my uh, chicken salad. News about Darkstar 2, uh, no, not yet, Zidane. Nothing new. Well, six are souls today, new stuff's happening, find new things. Right, just that. Yeah, just like you said with that, uh, with the skeleton, the pinwheels that have a small chance of doing a melee without their rolling, spinning BS. And you had you didn't have that happen in the first, you know, however many dozens of encounters with them, and then bam, then it happened. Normal day in RimWorld, so. Rakes, do you eat anything normal? Four years? How much playtime is that? Oh, is there a mod for RimWorld that makes it so you can do more than 3x speed? Ever think you're the weird one, not me? <laughs> if that's the case, that means we're all weird aside from you. I'm pretty sure 99% of the chat are not eating strawberry jam on their chicken salad. Here that makes you hungry? Hey Scorpio, how's it going? Can anyone catch the PlayStation Showcase? No. Anything super interesting, IMAX, or did you miss it too? 20 hours in. Truly isn't never seen it. You can turn on demo 4X. I remember you telling me that. Or there's a mod that enables 4X, okay. I wouldn't mind getting the 4X mod for super downtime. You know you're not? <laughs> Quarter teaspoon isn't much. I know, it just seems like a, an odd addition, doesn't it? Like, it all seemed like a normal salad. Like a grilled chicken, or a fried chicken sort of strip salad sort of thing, and then bam, strawberry jam. When you least expect it. We're gonna buff. Tough as to go to recon was today. I saw something about that. Best place to send you my from world tonight? Twitch was or Discord? Probably Discord. Thank you, Rakes. In your guys' experience, does it usually screw up a RimWorld play through or a save file? Does it corrupt it if you enable mods like that in the middle of it? Whatever happened to Splinter Cell? That's a good question. There was a Cotton Clancy. Misfortune thing with a Lurk. Red Dead Redemption 2. I still need to get through that. So I'm on like this. It won't. Okay. Most mods can be added. No problem. So it's just a different state of strawberry. <laughs> so that's true. Love Don't Star. When did you play that? Um, it was a bounty, and I liked it so much that I finished out the stream with it, and then I also played it, like, the next two days. So, I don't know, it's been a couple months, maybe? Um, uh, but it was a lot of fun, and I played it blindly, of course, so... Thank you, Rakes. So what you're saying, Gruntwork, is if I decide to make a second colony later on in RimWorld, like, instead of early when our wealth isn't that big of a deal anyway... I should absolutely make sure I bring a crap load of our wealth, or at least split the wealth. Maybe bring like 40% of it with us or something. Cell is under Ubisoft, so it's probably dead. Oh yeah, I know, Ignu, that you can play it with other people. I, I mean, I don't do anything sub-only, it's all time-based, but yeah, we didn't do that, but I know you can. For sure. Don't start. Yeah, they were. And you can enable caves, uh, which was crazy too. So then you have the overworld, and the cave is like an entire, you know, the, the same size as the overworld, just another level of it. It's crazy. It's a lot of fun, though. Uh, 
don't want to throw this stuff down still. I mean, we might not even be able to hold any of this. Don't star, I can't stand Stardew. Really? Playing or watching or both? Stardew Valley is not a game I can watch, but I absolutely love playing it. But I really liked Harvest Moon a long time ago. I played uh, Harvest Moon on the Super Nintendo, the one on the PlayStation, and the one on the N64 quite a lot back in the day. Chilling at work. <laughs> Fun. Have a new update for Willow. So boring. Don't star. It was so good, though. Awarded to the both? brave and the foolhardy alike. You don't like them, Star, but adored Stardew. I like them both. If I had to choose which one I like more, I like Stardew more. But like I said, I was a big Harvest Moon fan. Salad's delicious. Oh yeah, that greens. That was my favorite one. Uh, Back to Nature, wasn't it? Uh, Back to Nature with the Harvest rules. Sprites and stuff. Excellion, Excellion, thank you for the follow. Actually, not included is awesome too. Grind is just too much. Well, the thing about Stardew, you don't have to grind it. I mean, I, I guess I don't know. That that's been one of uh, the problems of my gaming mentality for a while. That I've been trying to shed a little bit over the last few years is that I've gotten to this habit that like. I, I want to optimize things a lot, right? Where, and I, I used to overlook the fun or the chill aspect of some games. It would be like, all right, what's the crop that gets me the most money and the least amount of time? I'm gonna spend every single penny I have to plant as many crops as I have. I'm gonna, become, I'm gonna try to become a millionaire as soon as possible. It's like, I used to do that a lot. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna play this to, to be chill. If, if, if I only have like nine turnips in a season, it takes me 15 years to rebuild the town. It's fine. Um, but I, I, I can see that. A little bit, Kaz. I guess, I guess my point is, like, you don't have to make a game like that grindy. But I, I tend to have had that, uh, that feeling of wanting to try to optimize and min-max when I don't need to. I don't know if that's the same for you at all, but... That's how I've been quite a bit. Hey, Sokar, welcome back. How are you doing, Sokar? New Animal Crossing when it comes out. Let me look at that too. You min max it a bit. I mean, there's there's fun to be had with min maxing stuff too. I guess my point is like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of like with a lot of games that are story rich. Um, I think WoW got me in the really bad habit. So I would play things like, let, let, let me talk about like um, Dragon Age, for instance. So a couple of years ago, if I would have played Dragon Age Origins, I would have not read any of those codex things. I would have skipped all that. I would have probably not done, uh, I, would, I would have went to like side conversations and I would have clicked through instantly to see if they had a quest thing. Just play the game, go, go to the next battle, ignore almost all the other stuff. So I got in a really bad habit of like min-maxing and rushing things and well, I didn't need to. Start is great. Not included. Yeah, actually not included does. Journey on PS3 was super chill for you. I heard the name, but I don't remember what that one was. Journey. Hmm. The further we get into this, the less likely it is that we're gonna run into something. Because we just don't have that many battles left. God, I'm still going to throw these down. Feels bad, though. Let's go up, guides, reviews anymore. So, yeah, way late in the game. Whole game was two or three hours. Come on, thing from the stars. Please. We're in a game before you playing it. Yeah. Like to reach a goal by the end. It's a winner or a dying, whatever. Stardew, does it doesn't feel like there's an end goal? Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, um, it's one of those games, I guess, where you, you make your own goal. There, There is some, like, end game stuff, so to say, like rebuilding the, the center and whatever and, and getting all the things inside the rebuilt center. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess I know what you mean. 
We'll have an auction on Clue. You can't wait until you actually understand. You actually understand how things work. It's a game that is fairly short. What is that game, Ivex? That one I haven't heard. Good crit. Good crit. How many more, uh... Hmm. So our camp stuff is gone. No one's stressed. I'd like to get a heal in before we kill him, though. You're just fussy? <laughs> no worries. I gotcha. Oh, I'm fine with it. I'm not, like, saying... What? Started is a great game. I love that game. You have to like it, too. You know, play what, play what you like. Play what you have fun with. I have started enjoying some games more now that I've taken it slower, though, you know? Slow down. Um, nah, we'll just kill him. It's a platformer game. I hate its art style. I love platformers. 2D platformers are some of my favorite. That's, that's like one of my favorite genres in the world, 2D platformers. Maybe because I grew up on them. Dead Cells. I played Dead Cells back when it was a new game. I know they've added a crap load since then, though. Definitely want to play it again sometime, but I did play it a lot. Tried The Witness? No, I got that in a bundle. I haven't tried that yet. It's a 3D puzzle platformer, right? But no, I've not played it yet. Um, We're going to go ahead and bellow to slow them for next round. So there's no way we're going to kill all of them this round. This will allow us to go first next round. Uh, I'm going to try to kill the Stinger. The reason why is the Stress Caster had already gone. And so... I, I don't... We don't want Stress, but we're in a really good spot with Stress at the moment. We can... So say, we can get crit. We get a lot of Stress this round, but we can recover it all with a Jester. Thanks to the Pelagic Guardian being a very easy mob to stall out on. Yeah, I, I know, um, I'm pretty sure The Witness is a 3D puzzle platformer. And I got it in a Humble Bundle quite a long time ago. But no, I haven't I haven't done it yet. I saw that uh, Day9 was playing that months ago. And I did not watch any of it because I figured that I would probably play it at some point. Sucks we didn't kill them. It's possible that it just heals or buffs, but... Uh, Either way, no matter what it does, we're, we're good. It's going to buff the Guardian. That, that sucks a little bit. Because, like I said, the Guardian doesn't have a really high crit chance in Apprentice. And so you can stall on it pretty easily. But now it has an additional 5% crit. So it's going to be a lot harder to stall on it. Now, fortunately, we don't really need to recover very much, right? We have like 26 stress or something total on our team. So, we'll just kill him. To the witness, had you stuck for hours. Challenges are really amazing. Yeah, I don't mind being stuck for hours on things. I guess that's obvious, huh? Especially for anyone who watched Sekiro. But, uh... You know, when we did the, um... The Halloween games, I really liked, um... God, I hated War... War... war not War... Machine for Pigs, but the original Amnesia, I liked a lot. I didn't really find it too scary, but I liked it because of the puzzles. So, I, I mean, I like 3D puzzle games for sure. Some of the greatest games of all time. Portal. Portal 2. Best puzzlers ever. Good dodge. Anti puzzle games. Uh, that goes without saying. In my top ten. Top ten genres all the time. No scout. You can use a shovel on this. For guaranteed loot. But I'm going to wait for now. Thing from the stars. Where are you? It's not you. That's a trap. Cruel machinations spring to life. With Sorry. a singular purpose. 
Tales of Monkey Island is your favorite adventure puzzle. Carl, finally! I never ended up playing any of those, Monkey. Carl, you can use um, medicinal herbs on this to get rid of one random negative quirk on the hero you have selected. So Nocturnal and Witness don't matter too much. Aesthetic is not really that big of a deal either. We're not. I don't even think we're using Occultus anymore. I think I got rid of it. Zoophobia would be a nice thing to get rid of. I think I'm, I'm going to go for Nervous, though. Because this is a guarantee. We're guaranteed to get rid of a reinforced uh, negative quirk that is um, detrimental to co our combat prowess, so to say. So let's do that. Stellaris is free to play this weekend. I love Stellaris. I haven't played it in over a year, but I loved it. There's been so many expansions and updates for Stellaris since last time I played it. But that's a paradox game for you. Just use herb to chill out. Yeah. We used herb and now we're no longer nervous. Thing from the stars. Every time I say thing from the stars, we step on a trap. I gotta cut that out. <laughs> so it stands to reason if I if I say trap, we'll find the thing from the stars, right? That's how it works. Next thing we're gonna run into the hall is a trap. You'll see. Here we go. It's not a trap. It's not a thing from the stars. <sighs> no thing from the stars. Thing from the lurk rakes. You're gonna get uh, World War Z. No thing from the stars. That's unfortunate. We did get through her nightmare, though. At least. So, we got that going for us. What level are you now, Kalyat? Is that what you've been playing still? Gar. Hi, I'm Gar. Welcome in. Almost 200. <laughs> Four to six. We have to run roll top end. I I think I'm actually gonna put damage here. Yeah, I'll do that. Figure you can play now. It's bellow to slow them down for next rounds. It's good that it guarded that. We want to kill these stress casters. I mean, we'll probably get out of here in great shape. It's just I really want to get the thing from the stars out of the way when we had a good team for it and on apprentice. Uh, in World War Z. Even the star respawn and generate a battle? No, it can't. It's determined when you enter the dungeon, unfortunately. It's a 50% chance to spawn as a hall battle as you enter the dungeon. So you can't, like, just keep spawning hall battles to spawn it. Unfortunately. How you doing, Deathfy? By the way. So we're going to stress heal the rest of this. It was a really good dungeon. We controlled the dungeon really well. We probably only got crit, I don't know, four or five times maybe. We stunned things most of the time. Crit them to death. We finished our nightmare in great shape. So, I mean, it was a good dungeon. I just really wanted that thing from the stars kill. Full diaper load. Hey, diaper. Diaper, it's good to see you. Welcome in. Hey, diaper. It's been. Now, there's a name I have not seen in quite some time. How you been, Diaper? How's it been going? Talking about a Dark Souls dude. Dark Souls 1 dude is so leveled, you actually don't know what to do with him now. <laughs> it's crazy. Monkey thing for the lurk. So, we'll recover on this guy. It's the last... I mean, we might spawn one more battle before we go home. Same old, same old. Me too. So we're gonna kill this slowly. We have gotten crit by a guardian in this in this dungeon, but uh, he does have a low crit chance. So and it's actually kind of cool in here that fan. Plus, you know, the, 
the rain is helping. I have a lot of stress. I think we'll spawn another hall battle. Uh, it'd be good to get a shambler too, actually. I mean, not good. Uh, I suppose it would be good if we get a shambler, don't die, and receive a map. Is what I really mean. Let's not get let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. There's that crit. I still think we recovered more than he's put on us, so... Still worth... Kinda don't wanna crit him, I don't wanna kill him too fast. I mean, I know it gets rid of some stress too, but... Next round I think we'll, we will stall more. I, uh, we're only gonna hit him once, which is gonna actually count as a stall round, but... Um, it'll be alright. As long as we don't crit him, I guess. If we crit him, it still kills. Crit from the shield does five. The and of course, can be could very well never crit us off of this. Oh, we dodge. We need to finish this fight quickly. Yeah, I'm working on it. One more stress heal. Now I'll kill him. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're actually pretty good aside from the fact they hate women. But other than that, fine specimen. They're passionate about anything except for women. <laughs> Rimworld. Don't need the keys. Hmm. Don't even, uh, I mean, I can... I doubt we're going to be able to backtrack all the way there with only four food. We only have 100 proc worth of food. Alright, let's spawn one more hall battle at least. So, if you go into a hall that you've already been in, you have a chance to spawn a hall battle, hunger proc, a trap, nothing at all. So we're going to keep going into this hall, uh, hoping that we spawn a battle. And the reason is mainly because we're in good shape and we have provisions left. And the resell value of provisions is minuscule when there is any resell value. And so we want to replace those with loot if we can. We just spawned a trap. Uh, the downside is we don't know if the other spaces are hunger tiles. Like, they could already be hunger tiles now, and we will never spawn a battle there. It's unlikely they're already all three hunger tiles, but it can happen. I think the chance to spawn something is like... If I remember right, it's something like 15 to 17% or something. So, on average, you should spawn something about every 5 to 10... exits... Oh, well, 227. Don't know what to level, yeah. Caps are like 40 or 50. I didn't cry. Welcome on in. Coming in trying to spawn the Cletus. Yeah, I don't know. I might have to just leave. Like I said, they could all be hunger procs. I don't know, I'll do like 10 more. One. I really want to make the most out of the dungeon. Two, three, four, five. It's casting White Dragon Breath with one hand, Henny the other. It's like seven, I think. Eight. Yeah, I'm almost certain those are hunger procs at this point. So we can go check. No, that was a hunger proc. There was nothing spawning those 
Room battle, or uh, yes, about a shambler. <laughs> this team would be okay against it. I mean, they're level twos with tr good trinkets, and it would be a level one shambler. We'd probably be okay. But a 999, level 220. Make very little difference, yeah. This is when I need to take a nap. Where are the hall battles, man? Come on. Uh, all the hall battles are waiting for us in our next veteran dungeon. My hand this was hammer. It's only weapon you can't one hand. Small goals. Hey, there's one. There's another one. Alright, that's good enough. We'll do those two. Are you a shambler? Nuts. Uh, we're gonna kill the maggot first because it can give disease. Should be able to recover the stress pretty easily unless we just dodge and don't need to recover, I suppose. Okay. That will work for me. Shambler, shambler, shambler. Thing the stars, no, didn't appear. We did all the hall battles. Was not here. Just never use shields. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's buff our speed. Speed accuracy crit. Pubbo needs to let out. Already has. Still stun this one though. It's still pretty fast, even with our buff. Could get an attack or two in. Good crit. Take out that disease carrier. Again though, I don't even know if they can give disease. We're still, we're still. I know they can give, give disease in veteran and champion. I don't know about apprentice. Someone mentioned that they didn't think they could, and I can't remember. So we're gonna we're gonna keep a close eye on it. And if they ever give us a disease, an apprentice will know for sure. But, how, so when you came across editing that quote originally, Phoenix, were you like, I could delete this, no one would ever know. <laughs> can they stun on Apprentice? Yes, they can stun and they can bleed on Apprentice. It's tempted, too many people would notice its absence. <laughs> Uh, all right. Let's go do that last battle we spawn. Maybe we'll spawn a second one on the way down. That would be good. There's the hunger brock. What's well, highest crit? I don't know. It was one something. 127? 129? Something. I don't remember specifically. I've never, I, uh, I've never tried specifically to get like a super high number. Um, this kind of sucks because they can get an all four. I mean, it's only one kind of mob. They can give the Crimson Curse. These ones can. Unlike Chevaliers. Um, I kind of don't want a bunch of the Curse right now. So it'll force us to go do the Baron. Hey, Strike Commander, welcome back. It's going pretty well. Bulimic Brigade. How quickly the tide turns. There's a crit. Uh, doesn't look like we got a curse, though. Taking the pup out, too. Already count me out. <laughs> All these pups going out. Good crit. Yeah, they can't really be stunned, either. Not usually. This is going to go down to three. So that one's dead. Critical barf. I mean, the mob design, I mean, and the game in general is good, but the Crimson Court has some pretty awesome design, right? I mean, if you look closely, same thing with the mushroom people. If you look closely, there's some really crazy things going on. So, this is a person, right? And the whole spider, hey, Kaz, come back. The, the whole spider creature is wrapped around their head. <laughs> it's good. Delicious. Their, their head's in there somewhere. Oh, we resisted. Life once. 
Funniest thing you ever saw? You want me to tell you a critical barf story? Somewhere. You guys want to hear one? <laughs> Crit. Vigorous Phoenix. Vigorous Sin. I have one for you. Yes. I have a couple. You haven't had dinner yet? Fine. See if we spawn anything on the first tile. <laughs> we did it! Steak salad for dinner tonight. Uh, I grilled chicken breast. Now that it's getting warm out, I'm gonna be grilling a lot. Keeps the house from getting as hot. So I grilled uh, chicken breast. Seasoned chicken breasts. And then made um, some small baked potatoes and macaroni and cheese. I'll say yes, so it looks like more people want to hear it. Yeah, bring bring genitals and Mike in. No, it's okay. Mike. Someone had tried to get me a mic before. Hey, Big, welcome in. Hey, Don, welcome in. Back, Pro Lurker, 2019. Hey, Karayuan, welcome in. Love mac and cheese, too. Yeah, it's good. Good, good, good. Welcome back into genitals. Uh, so, Matt and a couple other people, primarily Matt lately, Kaz, will make parody names, so to say. And now on Twitch, you actually have to um, have a registered email to make a new account. So, so they'll make new accounts where it's like Bart Simpson calling into, you know, Moe's Tavern or whatever. And the name sounds like something else if you say it together. And uh, they'll follow the channel to try to get me to say the name. Hasn't worked too many times. Cheese and crackers for dinner? Are you poor? I don't know. I grew up super poor. Nothing, nothing wrong. I mean, obviously, uh, it's not, it's not good. But I mean, who is stealing your thunder? Oh, people have been doing it for a long time. Like I told you, someone tried to get me with Mike before, and then um, Davy Crockett made several, several names. Davy usually makes a name. To get me to say, and then he'll start giving me bits with that name. <laughs> he'll do like the initial uh, bit deal where you get a, a deal on that name because it's a new account. Cheese and crackers are amazing. If indeed there is Guys, you love cheese and crackers. They're good. Um, eh, it's a it's a decent. I mean, we came out in good shape. We'll sell that trinket. You know, we end up with like twenty five thousand golds. Kaz didn't get to level three. Let's get you beats to it. <laughs> Works lower at night owl. Creeping cough. Kind of sucks. At least it's not on one of our damage healer. Beast hater. Can't believe Kaz is one, one experience off. The walls between the sane world and that home plum. Hey, there's that trinket we threw down. It's a Christmas miracle. Just appears back in the Hamlet. Chapter 2 trailer? No, I didn't watch the trailer. I haven't watched the new version still. My wife and I both want to watch it. We watched the... Uh, I mean, I've seen the original many times. Read the book with its strange ending. No, I didn't see the new trailer. I see that it was released. How you doing, Ted? 